Hello everyone, my name is Mike Murley, also known as the Savvy Tech here in Columbus, Ohio, and I'm here to help you get the most out of your treadmill. In this video, I'm going to give you a free tip that will help keep your treadmill running for years since it will help prevent burnout of motors and lower control boards, which in turn will keep expensive service calls to a minimum. The number one reason for treadmill failure is not lubing the walking belt about every three months or so. Almost everyone who owns a treadmill does not know that you need to do this one very important maintenance step. Additionally, no matter how much lubing you do, if you don't keep the area around your treadmill clean, you are looking for a high repair bill. But more on that in a minute. This product right here is a treadmill belt lube kit. You can purchase it through Amazon from a link to the right of this video. It is very easy to use, as you can see right here. All you need to do is load up the sponge with a supplied silicone, then slide the applicator wand directly under the treadmill belt. You will want to run your hand across the belt directly over the wand like this to make sure the lube oozes out onto the deck. After that, move the wand back about a foot or so and then repeat. Now run the wand to the front and then to the back again under the belt until you feel until you do not feel a drag on the wand as, as it is moving under the belt. Almost all consumer models use silicone, but check with your owner's manual to confirm or with your manufacturer that silicone is the proper lubing method for your treadmill. If you don't have your owner's manual, that's okay. You can find many of them right here from the Savvy Tech website. Now, you do not want to use a silicone that comes in a spray can like this, one that you might find at a local home supply store. Sprays have additives that thin the silicone to allow it to be sprayed. This type of silicone will evaporate quickly and will not give your treadmill the lubrication that it needs. And besides that, the spray's mist is not safe to breathe. Now, if your treadmill is dusty, you will want to clean it off and be sure to raise the deck and vacuum under there too. By not cleaning the dirt and dust around your treadmill, what happens is your belt as it rotates creates a vacuum under the treadmill which picks up dirt and dust and distributes it under the belt and the motor controller area. Your car has filters to keep derb derbis out. Without argument, serves to extend the life of the car. And since a treadmill has no way of using a filter, regular cleaning is also a very important step in keeping your treadmill running so that you are too. Stay tuned to this website since I will be uploading videos that will teach you how to diagnose and fix your own treadmill problems, saving you hundreds and possibly thousands of dollars over the life of your treadmill.